can help. Is this the music club? It seems like that I've stumbled upon the Depay couple instead. If I know anything about ladies, it's that they love a guy who can sing. Millie seems really important to these guys. Maybe I should investigate what her deal with Sophie is before she gets into trouble. I am a gentleman at heart after all. Ugh, great detention? That is what I get for trying to help. Yeah, I miss basement all the time. Once, I told my brother to the supermarket, and when I came back home and gave my mom the groceries, she asked me what my good brother was. That's when I remember. I live in the soup aisle. <laughs> He's your boyfriend, so you know him best. Sing with me. Oh, look, it's the monkey, so there's nothing better to do than to look down on others, cause, because this, this is the only way to deal with their daddy issues. Why don't you just admit that deep down, you're just a very jealous boy who wish we, he had half of our music talent, haven't achieved nothing with her life? I'm just really happy for them. It took them so long to realize their feelings for each other. This, the idiots. Look, it's my job as the club president to make sure we're fully prepared. You found me later. Sooner or later, Jake, you have to decide for yourself. Not me, not Drew, but you. You've been more brief today than I've ever been, and I wish I had been like that instead of just running away the other day. I should have heard you out. I'm sorry, Jake. Oh, well, I'm not too good with crowds. It was a pretty scary moment, but I have really great bandmates who helped me through it. Hey! The piano is not a toy. Get over that right now! So suddenly, that huge debate erupts about whether I'm gay or European. You should have seen the look of their face when they found out I was both. For all I knew, that he could have been talking about us like that the whole time. He's just sorry he was caught, not for what he said. Oh my god, my nemesis are coming true. I knew this would happen. I told you to get the trusted. Really? You know, I might actually prefer you calling a squad fam. Wait, that wasn't my good side. Do one more. How is that fair? Just because John and I don't like your boring classical music center, get rid of Bosque! It's not running off. I'm an independent woman who can go by herself, you know. Not so big and mighty now, are ya? You give in what's mine! You got a problem with a speech back? You sh you should have seen his face when he caught him. He was as red as a tomato. He saw us being raving, don't you think? Hey, do you guys need another minute for a makeup sash? Or so can it be time to turn out? Are you freaking kidding me, Sander? We've taken the middle in already. If you ever hurt Sander, then you'll be telling me after. Sander, you'll never lose me. Well, you do have her sass. It's just great. She's n he's nothing like the person in the audio when he's with us. You don't think his friends played a big part in this? It's finally happening. This feels so surreal, right? Mr. Broom and I have plenty of great conversations together. He's great company. Ladies and gentlemen, the ship has officially set sail. So, Millie, when should we expect to see your confession to Alien, hmm? No, no, it's fine. It's only natural to be stressed if you have that much on your plate. Them, girl, all right. I won't resist me you. But if you ever need backup, me and Mr. Bourne will have your back. It would be such a shame for you telling a good ways. I would love to see you perform a stage for the competition. 
everything is just exhausting. If I'm not doing homework, I'm doing things for the school committee, or I'm working at the animal shelter, or I'm at dance rehearsals. Well, both my moms make me take self-defense class, so I'm not completely defenseless. I wanted to take, and besides, having the head group assistant taken for, away from me might be that might actually be a blessing for me, or a curse once my parents find out. Well, I'm not the one with the voice of intro, you know. I want you to get back in that club and give me the best performance I've been waiting for. You're spectacular, Jake. You guys were so cool on stage. You as well, Haley. I can't believe it's already over, though. I'm gonna miss sneaking into your rehearsals. Everyone, please, quiet. Um, I need to get a book between you two. Could you move? I just wanted to let you know that I'm cheering you on. I don't mean to intrude on whatever this is, but Miss Jones needs to pay her for the fundraiser. Daisy? That would be correct. Look, the truth is, I've liked you for a really long time now. I don't know if you ever see me that way, but I think you could come to like me. Gosh, I'm so clumsy. I'm sorry for being such a bother. Um, do you think you can help me carry these to the English classroom? Are you gonna continue talking to your music girlfriend or are you actually gonna help me out here? What's wrong? You meet your f you miss your freak friends? Fine, whatever. Have fun with Little Miss Uptight. Oh, Jake, I'm surprised. You're not ditching us for the music for club for once. I don't get it, Jay. Are you singing for Daisy or Haley? Just open your eyes already, Jake. Haley can sing by herself, so she needs you too. She's clearly a control freak who wants everything her way and is using you to get it. And the whole reason the school cares about this competition is you, Jake. You're spending all this time doing this for them. And what do you get in return? Don't add innocent. You waste all this time playing families with him and kick him out. Now he's spouting out all this nonsense. This is clearly all your freaks get into his head. Yeah, quite some speed, Jake. Blabbering about the competition again. That's all you seem to care about these days. Wow. I'm so happy for you, Jake. It's funny. I really thought they were giving you. Turns out, you've just been manipulating me this whole time. Nice to know that we're never really friends. You're out of your mind, Liam. Get your house out of your ass for once in your life. Just a minute, you're a chicken. You're messed up, dude. Just thinking about its clunchy leaves makes my mouth drool. Don't look so blue, Drew. I know it must be sad to see your boy running off to the music freaks instead of into your arms. Ooh, your girlfriend still has quite the attitude, huh, Jakey? Whoa, you look like hell. Wait, let me guess. You were up all night thinking about Daisy rejecting you for that Sean guy. Don't worry, bro. We'll be here for you when, I mean, if that happens. You have to admit that Stacy's mom has got going on. Whoa, she did that to you? That's one hell of a feisty woman. I keep telling you, stop sending her my hero at Cadavia memes. Whoa, do you always get this cranky up your boyfriend? Uh, she's prob he's probably busy writing some dramatic please forgive me song for the club. Is it too late to 
Now say sorry, cause I'm simply more than just. Do you see? You take me shopping on the weekend, right, Jimmy Bing? And then I told him that silver doesn't suit my skin tone, so he bought me the gold hoops as well. That's if you even consider her a girl. She's a trap. Excuse me? Are you seriously on her side after what she did to me this morning? I know you only joined their freak show to sing or whatever, but it's not like you'll need her. Stupid! Stupid! He just has to open his big gun! I can't believe I trusted Leah! She never does anything right! Sure. She should first fought twice before crossing me. I can wait to get to look at his miserable Atlee mug later. It was barely cheating. I only hung out with the loser for the gifts. Just don't do anything stupid before letting me know again, Leah. What the hell is going on? Dee gives some cliche speech and everyone's move? Am I high school music? Oh. Ew, no way in hell, Henry. I told you I didn't date Key Ross. Well, you can sing. That's hot. I'll come watch you before I'm Jake. Instead of glowing up, why didn't you try growing up, Henry? Whatever. I didn't come here to make you listen to my baggage anyway. I just want to say sorry for sending that audio. I messed up everything for you. You'll never be happy lying to yourself and everyone around you. And that's coming from me. Damn. I wonder what's uh, his decurrence in the twist. He's kind of cute when he's burning, though. Don't you think, Leah? Oh, my God. Was he bad-mouthing the club? Well, guess you won't be getting Jake to be your personal slave now. Yikes. I hate I hate to make an enemy out of you, Zoe. Poor Jake has it bad now. I just wanted to tell you that the organs have started to blow. You should come by the garden and see some time. Hey, Grumpy, I got something else to cheer you up. All right, then. I guess I'll go introduce myself to your girlfriend at the door. I'm sure I'll be much better company anyways. Not my fault you're so hyperreactive. My poor break bro. Forever stuck in the friend so. I'm always here if you need advice. I have more girlfriends since kindergarten than you ever have. Before you know it, I might even snap your precious daisy first. What you doing? But I don't want to make music with Sean. I'm sorry for taking your laptop. Stop whining. You have a play day with Hannah to get ready, remember? I'm always right. And it's Sean to you, look. Oh, mom, if you prefer. Sandra, give him the bloody trophy. You 40s are the prime of your life. I'll have you know. Well, since you've asked, it was me and two other guys from high school. We were called Rubber Explosion. I was the lead singer too. <laughs>